All right, all right, all right. I put the 30 greatest point guards of all time in this draft class. Oscar Robertson, Jason Kidd, Chris Paul, Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, Stephen Curry, Bob Cousy, Jerry West, Walt Frazier, Nate Archibald, Derek Rose, Dave Bing, Luka Doncic, Steve Nash, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Johnson, Trey Young, Gilbert Arenas, John Stockton, Russell Westbrook, Gary Payton, Damian Lillard, Lenny Wilkins, James Harden, Tony Parker, Penny Hardaway, Dennis Johnson, Chauncey Billups, Tim Hardaway, Mark, and Mark Price. That's the last one. Oh, God. AJ Train. Hello. Default player all the way through. You already know. I got this list from website called fadeawayworld.net it was the most recent one and uh the only things i replaced in case you're wondering like oh luca shouldn't be here is too young okay it was on there on there as well and honestly i agree he's probably more talented than dave bing from their list i replaced mookie blaylock darren williams and fat lever for gilbert arenas james harden and jerry west the reason i mean gilbert was already on the list at like 35 or something but jerry west and james are considered shooting guards even though james has been in the luca Doncic role for the past 10 years and if i ever do a shooting guards video i'll just include them in that too there you go but they very much much can be flip-flopped i mean I, I just feel like it would be stupid because james harden has literally le led the league in assists this year it'd be kind of dumb if i didn't have him on a point guards list you know and um for the league they are all 71 overalls they actually started at 70 but i simulated a year so now they're all 71s and i believe the last time i did a video like this i had like some guys like a Giannis or whatever that eventually got good because they have the potential even because i make them 20 years old and everything even though i made them 70s yeah i removed the i removed all the good all the players that could be you know great i removed all of them and on top of that last thing i gave every single player a 30 shot tendency every single one so no you know every player should have a clean slate every uh guy that gets drafted to a team unless killing hayes decides to throw away six turnovers a game you know what i'm saying pretty even stuff and plus you'll be starting over many ways all right draft lottery time who the hell won their pick i did simulate the whole year with these teams and uh i believe oh actually i took a screenshot clint capella won mvp but here here it is the draft lottery i mean there you go timberwolves won it spurs but who the hell knows who's going to go number one? I really don't know. Obviously, you guys, you can see they're all rookies. Injuries are off as well, and there's going to be no moves, I don't believe. I do believe I have trades on, so it would be funny to see if they ever, you know what I'm saying, trade. Actually, I should turn them off for now, though, because I don't want them to trade. Did any teams trade their picks? Warriors trade Andre Iguodala in a first-round pick for the thought of Michael Porter Jr. Wow. Yeah, I got to give it back to him. That's crazy. Yeah, let's just turn off trades for now. Screw trade. Before we go any further, I want to shout out to the sponsor of this video, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the best place to play daily fantasy sports. Available in over 30 states. Use the code Click. You get up to 100% back and up to $100 to your first deposit. That's be 19 old to play. Age restrictions vary from state to state, and please play responsibly. First and foremost, Jimmy Butler. I'm going to assume he's not going down without a fight. Down 1 0. I'm going to say more for him. And the points, I think, he, you know, I'm about to drop 30 or something. Oh, snap. Look at that. It's the other Jokic for defensive rebounds. You know, I will say Jokic will get this fantasy score of 60. Go more with that. I think that one bad performance is skewing him downwards. Look at the saving. Got points in crunch time, deflections, field goal made in the first three attempts. I'm going to take Jamal Murray for more on a 30. 38 points, rebounds, and assists. I'll actually do the same with Gabe Vincent. Going with Gabe Vincent as well. Hey, you know what? Bam's only got one in the past few games, but I'm gonna say it's in his favor for him to get one block, more than likely. I'm praying for all these guys to do great right now. It's what is what it looks like. If you get five correct, you get ten times what you're putting down. Four correct, two times, and so on and so forth. Thank you to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. Remember to use the code Click and click the link in the description. You get up to 100 back on the hundred dollars your first deposit. Now to get back into the video, with the first pick in the NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves will select Chris Paul, number one overall from Wake Forest. Chris Paul is a magnificent, magnificent. Wow, that, I sounded like when Kevin Gardner was trying to say uh, equivalent, equivalent. He runs like the wind and has the instincts to make big plays, but these are the instincts to win championships. The Spurs select Jason Kidd, number two. The third pick, the Pacers select Jerry West. The fourth pick, the Kings select Stephen Curry. The fifth pick, Derek Rose goes to the Hornets, obviously one-time MVP, and Luka Doncic goes right after him to the Nets. Magic Johnson goes to the Celtics. The Jazz get Oscar Robertson. The Raptors pick up Gary Payton at number nine. The 10th pick, the New York Knicks. We get James Harden. The 11th pick, the Mavericks. Dave Bing with his jersey. The Rockets, Gilbert Arenas goes number 12. The 13th pick is Bob Cousy with his... It's something about the old people. They all got these pictures on him. 14 is Russell Westbrook to the Pistons. Walt Frazier to the Magic. Trailblazers pick up Penny Hardaway. Isaiah Thomas to the Clippers. We have a trade to the... No, no, I, I turned these off. I t you know what though they traded Derrick Rose I'm okay with this they traded Derrick Rose for the 18th overall pick stupid but is it they got Damian Lillard I mean hey you tell me I I didn't know that trades were still I literally turned trades off Kyrie Irving goes 19th to the Suns Denver Nuggets get Steve Nash the Lakers John Stockton the Pelicans Trey Young Warriors Nate Archibald Bucks Tony Parker Heat Kevin Johnson Bulls Dennis Johnson Cavaliers Lenny Wilkins of uh, Wizards Chauncey Billups and Grizzlies Tim Hardaway 
lastly, Mark Price of the Hawks, right? Should be lastly. Yeah, there you go. Oh, we had one interesting trade. And that is the funny thing that I guess they, you know, if, if trades still are still somehow on, then yeah, they could eventually trade for each other's. Oh, I mean, I turned trade logic off. I, I guess I didn't turn trading off. I don't know. Honestly, I don't, honestly, you, you guys can trade now. Whatever. You're not going to trade for literally the worst player in your team for a, a rookie, a generational rookie, right? Dang, Derek Rose. They traded the fifth pick Derek Rose for the 18th pick. That is wild. All for that Furcon Korkmaz or whatever it was that they got. And yeah, free agency is not looking too hot. Um, I don't know why players are getting so much better, but screw it. They have 30 shot tendency anyways, unless that updates too. It probably does. Uh, it, it did a little bit. Yeah, all right, whatever. They're even. They're even. Screw it. Pick up that 40 overall draft pick, draft class, maybe in like 10 years or something. I'll uh, start, you know, putting in good ones. For now, though, let them rock. Now, this is obviously to decide who is the greatest point guard of all time or who is the greatest floor raiser because you guys are playing with completely trash teams. A lot of you are facilitators who can actually start putting the ball in the basket. Magic, are you going to start averaging 40? Matter of fact, we're only a couple games in, but let me see how the quota is being set because they are far and away the best with far and away the highest uh, shot tendencies on their team. And yep, Steph Curry is averaging 43, Bob Cousy 38, Jerry West 38, Gilbert. Th Remember, these guys are only 80 overall still. Every single one of them. Matter of fact, no, 17 of them are averaging 30 plus through their first 18 or so games. And I would assume dang, the lowest scoring one is John Stockton at 20. And he is averaging eight assists, which honestly could be the most. It is. He is averaging the most assists despite averaging the least points. But then you get the best of both worlds from Oscar Robertson is also averaging uh, not the most rebounds in the league. Trust and believe there's a couple of centers still around. Well, the point guards, he's fifth in rebounds. He's got a Jason Kidd, Bob Cousy cooking on rebounds for some reason. Oh, wow. I forgot about the all-star teams needing to be even. And it is very funny looking. Steph Curry, Dwight Howard, honestly looks normal. Luka Doncic, Tristan Thompson, and Mitchell Robinson are the three forwards. And then the other three forwards are Adams, Pirtle, and Jang with Oscar and Magic starting. And then you could you could see the rest and his freedoms here. Kevon Looney was the all-star. It was Kevon Looney and Mitchell Robinson as the all-star captains last year. So yeah, I guess we'll never have a full team of the point guards, will we? Because there always has to be forward. I never even thought about that, honestly. And as of right now, is there any teams like just pummeling through the league right now? The, the Hawks, I mean, it's pretty even. I will say, I think my, my plan has kind of worked, but I think this is John Stockton. Yep, he is failing the most. John Stockton, rookie John from the 84 draft class with only a 55 shot tendency does not like to shoot the ball and not really great at it. I mean, he's good at shooting, but not maybe consistently or often or whatever. And Magic is the second worst. And that is very, he, he is one that usually averaged a lot of points when needed to in these simulations. And yeah, he's averaging 33 and nine and six. He's not even averaging that many assists. Maybe that's not, honestly his downfall. Who knows? I mean, for a 74 overall team, pretty decent. You got Bojan. He could probably hit a shot still. Malik Beasley, Grant Williams. You got a great, uh, you know, space floor right now. You can get ISO and all that. But uh, the best team is Mark Price. Mark Price is Atlanta Hawks. That is insane. I did. I don't know where I saw him, honestly. Was he high up on the uh, on the anything? He's averaging 29 and 7. I mean, he is with uh, some better centers, I guess. With Clint Capella, the last year's MVP. Look at that. But he actually got benched for half of this year for Okongwu. Not half, but you get the point. And yeah, contracts are off, so they can never lead these teams unless somehow they get traded, which honestly is possible. Uh, nothing of that nature has happened yet, but uh, Damian Dotson got traded to the Spurs. So there's that. Stephen Curry, the Kings' most valuable player. And rookie of the year, obviously. Ricky Rubio. Six man of the year, Jakob Pertl, Zubats, Quinn Snyder. So uh, that is the Hawks. Yeah, the Hawks are still coach of the year. And Tiana Bot. Oh, this is also funny. Steph Curry and Nate Archibald in the backcourt with Daylon Terry, Juan Descano, Noah Anderson, and Jakob Pertl on the All NBA first team. Second team is Kuzi, Arenas, Kevin Love, Denny Abdia, and Mitchell Robinson. The third team, Westbrook, Kyrie, Kyle Anderson, Jared Vanderbilt, and Dwight Howard. Defensive first team, defensive second team, rookie and rookie. Oh, well, here, here's the best point guard if you want to see him. Steph, Nate. Archibald, Bob Cousy, Arenas, and Westbrook and the second team, Kyrie, Oscar, Magic, Luca, and Jerry West. And for the playoffs, says, screw it. I'll just simulate the play in the Mavericks, the Heat, the Pelicans. I'm not going to remember. Oh, I used to rename the teams after the play. I might do that. I might actually rename the teams after the player. I might do that. I'm going through changing these team names and I got so scared that Seth Curry or Steph was on Luca's team, but it, it's Seth. It's I changed all the team names and I just had to acknowledge that the hardest one has to be the glow. Gloves. The Toronto gloves for that cold body, um, whatever it is. I, I don't know. I mean, city, but country. The whole country is cold. So yeah, shout out to Alaska. I'm not part of the country. I'm not that stupid. All right, here goes nothing. In the first round, screw it. We're not watching no first round games. Probably not. Okay, who just got eliminated? The Penny has got eliminated by Bob Cousy. Yeah, screw it. Just simulate the first round. The Zeeks are out of here. Zeke is Isaiah Thomas, in case you don't know. Um, I, I was going to say that I feel like I always say, what the hell? 
the Zeke stand for whenever I see this name? And I've probably asked the commas before and not remembered. So don't answer it again. Screw it. Answer it if you want to. Uh, the Westbrook. We're out of here. The the Parkers. That is a uh, Milwaukee Parkers. You know, it sounded nice because it reminds me of Jabari Parker, but it's really Tony Parker. The New York Hardens. That's the Knicks. The Chicago DJs. It's just Dennis Johnson. You know, there's a lot of Johnsons. Magic, Ken, uh, KJ, uh, Kevin Johnson. The Utah Oscars and the Sacramento Chefs. That is, you know, Chef Curry. It's it's Steph. And also, he just lost the Warriors, which are not the Warriors anymore. They are the Nates. The, the Golden State Nate. Nate Archibald. I could have made it Golden Nate Warriors, but I, I wanted it to see the name of the player when i when i see them eliminated you know gilbert arenas who was the first seed in the west eliminated oscar robertson portland was who got swept that was penny hardaway and uh tim hardaway swept isaiah thomas which is crazy mark price and his hawks swept tony parker not the craziest opponent just yet luca played hard and that's a good matchup and they went to six and the nets um yeah the nets won luca's nets chauncey billups did he win this game jesus christ look at these shooting numbers eight for 25 from chauncey 13 for 36 from west I'm like, how the hell do you win shooting here for 25? But it's because you're playing Russell. The only person who would shoot more than that. And uh, yeah, game five, Chauncey got him out of here. And lastly, I believe Lillard was the Phil yeah, Philadelphia Lillard says on the left side, he beat Dennis Johnson. And yeah, we're still missing a lot of heavy hitters like Magic and, you know, things of that nature. Memphis is up 3-0 and the Cozy is out of here. Bob Cozy is out of here. I believe the Tim Hardaway again. My God. And Dylan Brooks. Chauncey Billups also out of here too. I believe, yeah, Damian Lillard. And real quick, I just wanted to check. Who was like the highest? score in a game steph curry dropped 73 in a game this season has anyone dropped that much in the playoffs yet uh yep damian lillard 62 i mean not as much but you know also 61 from curry and 60 from nate archibald carrying these trash teams and they're not even good yet they're still dame was a seven is a 79 and dropped 62 but i mean the competition you know it evens out houston arenas have been eliminated the warriors which is uh, nate archibald dropped 53 the mr 60 point man himself so he will play up against tim hardaway in the finals so uh yeah and uh, Luca gets eliminated to the Hawks, which is Mark Price. I mean, he does have AG and Griffin putting up good numbers. And uh, John Collins, and Capella with 20 rebounds. The rebound battle might just be the winning battle right now. I can't lie. Let me check real quick. Do they lead in rebounding the Hawks? Uh, this is for the regular season, but nonetheless, no, they don't. Kevin Johnson does. Westbrook does. I mean, that makes sense. He grabs rebounds himself. But there is a common theme. The worst teams, oh, wow, all the worst teams are yet yeah, bottom six in rebounding. So that is something that point guards cannot control. And honestly, how how the hell do I plan for that? I don't know. I can give every player the same rebound rating, like a 50 or something. But that'd be old. that'd be kind of over, you know, whatever. Maybe I will though, because I really want this to be even. So yeah, Mark Price against Damian Lillard, who also has Greg Monroe at center. That's a Lillard with him. And um Tim Hardaway against Nate Archibald. That is Lillard might get a ring. Well, actually, I don't know if Nate Archibald has a ring, but I know everybody else doesn't. So yeah, that, that I'm pretty sure. I don't think Tim Hardaway was on that, that heat team in like 06 or anything weird like that. Was he even still he wasn't even still in the league, was he? I have no clue. The Lillard has been eliminated in in five, and yeah five games and the Golden State Nate has lost to Tim Hardaway. We have a Mark Price, a early '90s type of finals, a Mark Price versus Tim Hardaway finals. Did I expect this? Not a chance in hell. And I do think I'll even out the rebounds thing because I mean they do have Stephen Adams and Clint Capella. Although honestly, Mark Price's team even went Clint Capella is 11th in rebounding in the playoffs. And Archibald, right? He's the other one who made. Oh, no, 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 it was Tim Hardaway. He uh yeah his team has, is 50. So so I I mean there's eight teams that were better. Re you know what? No, I don't think there's a correlation. I think they just suck but the fun part about this in a weird twisted way is i kind of want to see players that are you know irrelevant to the casual nba fan being better than stephen curry no disrespect to steph obviously come on now please don't be sensitive i can admit my mistakes as well you know what else i didn't realize or i didn't do i did not turn off foul out i did not do that yet i will do that but as of right now thankfully these two guys have not fouled out and there is 139 left we're gonna see if a tim hardaway or mark price is anything to show us they're the only two guys on this team that should want to even attempt a shot for the most part i could put everybody else on zero but i think 30 should get the job done you know also they got a uh, tim hardaway at the two and who is that the one is that Dennis Smith? I'm trying to see. No, is that like Kennedy Chandler or something? I don't know. I just saw his name. Wait, the, the Grizzlies have the jersey? I mean, the name on the bottom on the jerseys? I did not know that. That looks very different, I guess. Tim Hardaway is going to fade away from three and miss it. Rebound by John Collins. Mark Price up by three. He goes back the other way. Um, This might be the least riveting gameplay of all time, though. I won't lie. These are two of the more boring options. And Bogdanovich, the pass over to Hunter. Hunter back out to Collins. Collins to Bogdanovich for three. He yeah, I was about to say, he, he might not want to shoot, but he 
he's still a shooter. Well, I mean, I did take off like 10 off of his overall, but yeah, he still is. Tim Hardaway gets doubled around the post, and oh my god, what the hell? We are in insane basketball era. It's funny though, because that six foot one dude hitting a post hook like that, looking that weird, is kind of like like that's the go to move. Like I'm about, you know, I'm saying six two, and like I just do that all the time against people shorter than me. It just looks weird because he's the shortest person on the court. And Bogdanovich, the easiest layup of his career. I don't know what the hell defense they're playing, but the whole point is like, how good can you carry a team? And I mean, maybe Mark Price is doing the best. So I don't know. Ah, Tim Hardaway. Oh, he goes left. He spins. He half spins. He gets stuck. He's getting clamped up by Mark Price. He passed it to Luke Kennard. Oh my God, way off. And that's it. All right, uh, Mark. Uh, yeah, Mark Price gets the first win, and he was third on his team in scoring. He had 17 and 10 on six for 21 shooting, whereas Tim had 27 on 10 for 20, 28. Bogdanovich had 24 on six for 11. But I mean, hey, hey, Mark Price is you know his four assists came up clutch. I guess I don't know. And the next game, wait, I was about to say it's going to Mark Price, but I don't know. Uh, never mind, I know. Yeah, it's going to him. Five. Good news, Price fans. 23 and 10 for Mark Price, and uh, he out he outplayed Tim Hardaway in this game. So there's that. But Tim Hardaway cooks he dominates the price 20 points and then tim hardaway had 30 and 8 yeah hey outplayed there you go the win to the person who outplayed the other part of this is about lifting your team up though and can mark price do that in this game it looks like he did 31 and 10 for mark price on more efficient shooting more assists and he is up 3-1 will that be it no the next game goes to tim hardaway by 11 points he outplayed the hell out of him 37 and 8 we're going back this is like the uh you know the 60s of the of this simulation you know what i'm saying because will these guys make it back again but this could be the determining game right here and price just took a one point leave with 122 to go maybe we're all who, who are you standing for this sorry that i just use the word standing i hate when people say they stand people please dog you are a whole human you were born into this world for a reason wow that got weirdly inspirational not a reason just to stand into the person okay uh, tim hardaway hey pulls up close shot and he missed and adams back out to laravia jake laravia cooking over to zaire zaire for three that is green two point lead for them bogdanovich back up the other way he's actually controlling the ball but they're probably gonna hand off the price i would assume maybe not actually is bogdan just taking the ball for himself he is he's gonna go to the basket he gets around and he gets blocked capella back out hunter for three hunter way off rebound by adams 46 seconds to go price is oh my god tim hardaway the man who invented the killer cross over just hey he just smoked mark price mark price dropped the you can actually see it in the frame right there even bogdanovich back up the other way bogdan why why does he have the ball and not mark price i'm so confused oh mark price there it is he pulls up for three and it is off he sold the rebound by capella or no hunter hunter misses the lay but he gets fouled what will the grizzlies do how will they respond the pass into bogdan bogdan he steps back he pulls the three he misses what yo mark price dog you gotta you gotta have some dog or something stop let, okay i mean he hit the shot i I mean, they're only down by one. This might get kind of intense. Pass over to Capella. Don't you dare take the three, John Cop. Pass over to Mark Price. He pulls it over the defense. Green. Mark Price. A man with one of the purest jumpers of all time. One of the original pure jump shots. But can Luke Kennard end him? Bang. Luke Kennard. 70 overall. Luke Kennard hits the jump shot. And he forces game seven. What is happening? Pandemonium in Memphis. They're going to have block boy JB playing out the stadium. Look at that, man. Wow. Mark Price. Sorry buddy game seven we're going to game 22 and five from tim hey mark price did outplay him i mean just barely though i mean no by eight points but they shot nearly the same percentage matter of fact mark price got a bunch more free throws so there's also that and uh yeah luke Kennard for his eight points of the game inefficient eight as well with eight rebounds screw it yeah eight rebounds game seven in the first ever i'll probably go 10 seasons or something of that nature in this like i usually do that get a nice barometer for who's the goat and was right now honestly honestly who i would think would be the best would be magic but he's not even in the playoffs we got 116 left and this has been oddly entertaining once again a foul outs are now off thankfully i remember to do that and so we got mark price matched up with tim hardaway's in the corner maybe at small forward who knows they're all point guards we know that price you want to come get the basketball there he's on the left but no sadiq bay is gonna go and launch a three as the announcer just said and he makes it to tie it to hey they're still gonna end up shooting the shot so i can't control that especially with players who aren't like very ball dominant but tim hardaway though with that crossover guarded by deandre bembry shout out to deandre bembry he's been around for a while was he on the raptors for the hawks i don't know um that dude 
Yeah, he missed. Rebound by Hunter. Down by one still. Hunter goes out. Pass it to Bembry. Over to Bay. Sadiq Bay cuts out again. Is he taking the initiative? I don't know. Goes right at the basket. He stops. He goes back left. And the layup by Sadiq Bay is, is good. In his bag, you got to realize they are playing against other 70s. So I guess are they all like, they could all be 80s or 90s to each other. I don't know. At least when it comes to stuff like contest and tough layups. And oh my, Tim Hardaway. You yeah, know, that's going to be a bucket. You already know that. Beautiful move by him under the basket. Don't know how he got it that well. Here we go the pass over he passed it to griffin instead of mark price and adrian griffin does not want to put up that basketball griffin instead drives to the basket and gives it a bember who hits the layup honestly not a terrible shot oh yeah there's that and chandler down by one remember game seven nothing left to go and oh my god they subbed out old dude they subbed out tim hardaway what will happen chandler to the basket chandler layup is good one second to go the hawks have no timeouts mark price just lost to the grizzlies with nobody on the court that is it did they blow a three one lead I don't even know, but they, they blew some sort of lead. Actually, yeah, they did because I said, is this about to be over? Because he was up 3-1. They blew the 3-1 lead and lost to Kennedy. Oh my God, that shirt is hideous. That is an awful shirt, man. That is that is terrible. They deserve jail time for those shirts. They just plastered a grizzly on the front. It's also funny how they're all just wearing red shirts in the crowd. Oh yeah, because we're in Atlanta. Tim Hardaway over there standing right by the trophy. Buddy, we already know this is your trophy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He got the finals MVP, obviously. And there's a dude in the Hawks jersey in the back as a usually is they always throw you know someone's got to sneak up there like uh remember that one kid that took the uh, selfie with justin timberlake like at the super bowl that one time i saw recently that he got arrested that's the only reason why i know what i'm talking about with that i honestly would have never remembered that st that kid sorry I, get, I was about to call him a stupid kid but maybe he deserves it because he did get arrested tim hardaway 26 and 6 on 41 percent from the field oh no what we do with that asia age trains out of the league technically i never checked who led the league in points after the season so screw it i'm gonna do that real quick it was steph with 42 Kyrie with 40 41 nate archibald with 41 gilbert with 38 and russell with 38 rebounds was yeah these guys these big bastards and then assists was john stockton ricky rubio mark price oscar robertson and bob Cousy. this guy third in assist or technically second out of the guys that we care he's tied for second almost won the ring but he lost to number nine on this list who was tied for number seven with tj mcconnell also the only one that looked like he was even remotely running into foul issues was dave bing 4.1 fouls a game my god draft lottery guess what doesn't matter for now yeah those are the team names in case you care because you are drafting nobody roster age a train and it's the same draft class i used for the other thing i just added the of the point guards to it oh god why are you signing this rookie don't do this all right they might just drop him anyways all right mark price is an 80 who's uh the now highest overall player it is oscar at an 89 chris paul also the number one overall pick also at an 89 steph 88 jerry 88 bob Cousy 88 and then you got 87 overall magic luca and kid and then so on and so forth my god who's the lowest overall not this is the other derrick rose that's not even wow i didn't even think about that you guys i forgot to remove like yeah derrick might end up to a little bit too good his old form and davion maybe you know he was a rookie recently so but yeah actually mark price and dennis johnson are the two worst out of all of our point guards from that list and jesus why are these guys getting so much better my god i let it rock though who cares also it's a holiday right now it's a celebration i actually posted a photo on instagram very rare thing um i posted it because i bought a car i know crazy revolutionary and there's a bunch of other stuff in the slideshow too like my friend larry yelling um to the kendrick song Ooh, the all-star team Teams. We are so looking forward. Look at Bob Cousy, man. Wow. Look at Gorgie Dang, man. Wow. Award races, Gilbert Arenas, Dam Damian Lillard, Dave Bing, and Steph Curry all averaging 40 this year. We might have even more 40 point scorers. Yeah, we got four of them now. And the Hawks are far away the best in the East overall. But then you got Penny Hardaway, the, the Trey Young team. It's still pretty even. It's still looking pretty even. Now, who's the worst? Oh, Derek Rose. Dang. Yeah, maybe they made a good move by moving Lillard for him. Where's where's Damian Lillard at? I think he's he's up here. Man, look at him, number 10. Maybe, just maybe, it was a good move. Who knows? Seeing some much different results, though. I saw Tony Parker just now at the bottom rather than the boy. Well, I think he was the eight seed last year. Am I going to make another top secret shout out, man? Shout out to my burner Twitter, man. It's not much of a burner anymore. Don't go follow what I post, man. Music screenshots over there. Don't talk. Gilbert wins MVP. Richard Rubio, sixth man of the year. Yeah. Jaka Pirtle. Dave Bing wins most improved player after averaging 41 last season. He averaged, he also dropped 72 in a game. Last season, he averaged 36. So not 
much of a difference. Win Snyder, Hawks coach, 58 wins. And Tiana Bosch, executive year. She must be cooking. She's not even the best team in the league. I don't know what trades you could have made. I, I think I turned trades off. Gilbert and Steph Curry, Bob Cousy and Dave Bing, Russell and, Russell and Oscar Robertson on the third team. That's pretty, you know, that's pretty cool, I guess. And then defensive, you got Kidd, Magic, Oscar, and Lenny Wilkins. And for our playoffs, get Zeke out of here, Lenny Wilkins, Stockton, and Westbrook. Sorry, Russell. I kind of already looked at this, but yeah, Steph averaged 41, Lillard, then Bing, Kyrie, and Arenas. Here's the rebound guys in case you care. Stockton averaged almost 10 assists, then Oscar, Mike, Mark Price, Rubio, and Curry. And Nash, you want to say screw Rubio. Rubio didn't even qualify for field goal percentage. He like didn't quite like did he not pull up enough put up enough shots it seems like he did he definitely did how did he not qualify for field goal percentage here's something else interesting out of all the point guards i think the lowest oh no there's a few lower like chauncey billups uh uh what's his name oh kevin john i was about to say bones highland mark price is even pretty low on this list so i guess maybe it means nothing but john stockton is one of the lower in terms of field goal percentage but you go up to like up here yeah magic johnson jerry west the elites of scoring you know uh, steph curry over 50 percent all right first round luka Doncic, bob Cousy, billups Magic, Chef Curry, Steph, Arenas, Harden, and Bing Bong. Yes, I had to do it for Dave Bing. I'm sorry. It's real. Uh, you know, sometimes when a meme dies, you could bring him back for like 10 seconds a year later. And uh, Golden State, Nate Archibald, he uh, he got Gilbert out of here in the first round, even though Gilbert was the first seed. Nate made it pretty far last year, didn't he? And then another upset was Washington losing to Indiana. That is uh, Billups losing to Jerry West was somehow an upset. And lastly, Dave Bing getting out of here to Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway barely made it out of the first round you know this league's gonna be pretty volatile but nonetheless second round tim hardaway is out of here in the second in the second logos are out of here jerry west trey young is out of here and mark price is out of here so we have an entirely different finals and damian lillard could be in it this year he was almost in it last year he's playing up against kevin johnson in the conference finals and nate archibald up against penny so yeah entirely new thing i'm not sure i think nate was in the conference finals last year so we could uh we could see you know i'm saying him and dame as dame goes up 3-1 and 4-1 lillard dominating all the way to the finals thus far and Portland just came back down 3-1 and they complete the 3-1 comeback. Penny Hardaway had 39 to Nate's 41. I feel like we'll be, be seeing a much higher scoring finals here. Penny and Dane both 84 overalls. And uh, yeah, this is this is like a... Now, this is the one, you know what I'm saying? We, we turn on the TVs. Watch, we don't even get a close game. I'd be saddened. Because as of our... And it's funny, actually, I just realized that Dame is playing against the, the Trailblazers, Portland. As Penny Hardaway was not leading the team in scoring, it was Skylar Mays. And Lillard had 48 and lost. That's kind of sad even on a team with no help with every team he has no help the blazers found help before they gave it to him Man, i'm over here stop with a minute left like i could jump into the game but hell no i can't hardaway 35 points the dame's 45 this man got a better supporting cast in portland damn reddish 14 points you guys are all the same you have all the same shot tendencies there you go dame take this win come on okay maybe not 60 seconds left they're up by two points someone might be at the line i simulate a little bit further there you go penny hardaway is at the line both these guys like taking you know jump shots or or, uh, you know shots in general look at that everyone were wearing bland blue in the crowd that is so weird to me because they were still wearing the memphis logo did alfred payton just sub in oh no we're in hell how many time i got left one oh can't do it can't even change anything why was damian Lou just subbed out of this game why is d'anthony melton controlling this basketball game right now oh my god we are in the worst basketball timeline well the, I, hey that's their fault not mine yep jeremy grant wide open don't i'm assuming they're gonna shoot call a timeout do something try melton again Again, he about to put up some garbage again. Wow, this is hell. Hell for Payton. Oh my God. Melton for three. Man, just try again next game or something. I don't know. They subbed him out at the end of the game. So stupid. I think they subbed out Penny too. That's the crazy part. You know what? I I won't lie. I can admit my mistakes. We didn't run into this with Mark Price. Actually, we did on that last possession, I guess, with an old dude with the, at the game winner. But fatigue is now off as well. Penny is already up 3 0. I mean, it wouldn't affect the simulation, anyways. Penny, regardless, sweeps. I mean, he had a crazy lead. And look at his team in comparison to Dame's team 46 and 11 from mr lillard and matter of fact i'm about to make things even crazier next season penny hardaway wins finals mvp shout to penny he got himself a ring him and uh tim hardaway actually two hardaways where's uh is that all the hardaways yeah i don't know why i was i, I was thinking of the johnsons we have there's three of them in the league right now dakota matthias miles powell it's funny i was re referencing miles powell in uh the 2k19 my gm rebuild i did recently and a bunch of people were commenting his name shout out to all you yeah san antonio kids is a pretty weird name but greg Popovich did just retire from them maybe he agrees and still 
Still no draft classes. Screw them. When we look at the teams this season, as when I get over there, oh, hopefully one of these days, there you go. Oscars a 94. Now Magic's a 93. Jerry's a 93. Kid, Kuzi, Paul, Thomas, Curry, Doncic. And then after that, Trey, 91. And after that, 90 and under. Who is the lowest overall player right now? Kevin Johnson. I had a feeling Kevin Johnson would be the lowest overall one because I have rarely seen him be good in 2K simulations. So I'm like, well, this potential must not be that great. But yeah, I got his rookie from the, I believe, 87 giraffe class it was. And yeah, there it is. The one thing I'm going to do actually to uh, put more, what's it called on these players this season? Start off from the top, the 76ers, the Lillards. Make everybody have a five-man rotation. Honestly, I can't guarantee this will always be on because they might eventually fire a coach. But, and then I'll realize it. This obviously forces the best player of each team to play 48 minutes and well, all of them. No fatigue, no injuries, no, uh, no foul outs, you know. They might still make a sub or two if they feel like it in this universe. I will send set in season uh staff. Wait, where is it? Yeah, staff management. I'll turn that on off of uh auto. So hopefully they at least can't fire people during the season. I thought it was pretty funny. People were cooking uh this one dude in that in the comment section of my Instagram post because he said that like the money changed me and I became like a new person. I thought it was funny too, because like I don't post on anything and I just record videos all day. And matter of fact, it just made me think about it how actually extraneously the other way I am, because the reason why I bought a car was because my mom sold her $800 car that I bought her like five years ago when we had no money. And well, it still worked with me personally. But if, if something works, don't they don't break, don't fix whatever the broken. I don't know. Whatever that quote is. Here's your all-star team. Tristan Thompson, all-star starter. And oh, yeah, before anyone starts going to the comments, oh, quick, you had your mom driving an $800 car, buddy, buddy. But I bought her a house. Kick rocks. Shout out to the Heat. They just won game two. You know, it's 1-1 one, one right now. And you will definitely, if they lose the series, be seeing the Heat rebuild that I recorded just in case they blew the 3-1. I definitely recorded. Gilbert averaged 55 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists to win most valuable player. Magic averaged 51, 14, and 9 to win DPOI. Tim Hardaway, 50 points to win MIP with 11 assists. Yep, we are in. I don't think I've ever done this for one of these videos. I don't think I've ever cut the rotations because I feel like I would remember it. I would definitely remember if I had like, you know, when I do like the 30 legends, all that stuff, like I've done that multiple times. Uh, Steven Silas won coach of the year, so that means that Gilbert's team was the best. Gilbert Arenas, who was the MVP and also who technically shouldn't be i mean it's a man-made list regardless i do think gilbert arenas has an argument for being better than like darren williams and mookie blaylock i mean i think most people would actually say that. shout out to darren williams though I, I almost kept him on the list i do remember a lot of like my early nba viewing days of uh darren williams dominating you know because he was uh still one of like the best 15 players in the league bob Cousy, dave bing magic johnson steph curry and tim hardaway joined gilbert on the all nba teams and you got defensive magic and kid and oscar and Cousy on defensive second magic actually wasn't the greatest defender but they probably just throw him those attributes because well they can't really give him shooting attributes they honestly they probably throw him those too uh yeah kind of right, he still can't dunk though he still cannot dunk and matter of fact before i even simulate the play in just go check make sure okay gilbert yeah 55 and in, in a triple double which is now the highest average nba season and a bit of a skewed reality although i i mean hey i see he averaged over 48 minutes per game will average i think more than this when he averaged his 50 points but uh, he he also had the risk of getting injured and yeah we're seeing 10 11 12 players who average over 50 points and with that being said there is no players that average under 30 points with dennis johnson being the lowest at 32.6 skylar mays averaged 20 for the blazers my god but yeah so that, i mean that to be fair they are playing a lot of minutes now all these guys all right play in oscars out of here kevin johnson Kyrie, and lenny wilkins for the first round westbrook stockton timothy hardaway with chauncey billups and trey young Luka Doncic and Damian Lillard, the, the reigning ch Eastern champion, have all been eliminated. Whereas Portland is still here. That is, I, I'm pretty sure that was Penny Hardaway. Minnesota made an upset. Minnesota is uh, Chris Paul, the number one overall pick formerly. I don't think we've seen him have any sort of run in the playoffs just yet. He beat Tim Hardaway in the first round. So Tim will not be going back to take his championship back. And Trey Young lost to Bob Cousy in a three to four kind of upset. Also, the first seed got upset. That was Damian Lillard's team. Damian got upset, upset by Gary Payton and this very good defensive team with OG Ananobi and uh, is that Thaddeus Young? My God. Those were all the upsets. Second round. Oh, there goes Gary Payton. He's out of here. Mark Price is out of here. Chris Paul is out of here and Bob Cousy is out of here. The only upset was the Celtics. Actually, uh, Magic Johnson 65, 13, and 5. I did not check, actually. Oh, Magic dropped 80. Oh, my. Dame dropped 96. Let me check the record books real quick. I would assume the 100 is broken soon. Trey with 86 points. Steve Nash, 
83, Kobe 81. My God, Steve Nash 83 is insane. That is, that is actually like Trey. Okay, yeah, sure. He trucks a lot of shots, but Steve Nash, dog, and Wilt still holds the record, but these three guys all passed up Kobe. And for the conference finals as a, also did the playoff record, I'm assuming get broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Gilbert, right? Gilbert at 83 points in the playoffs and 81 and 77 all in this run. Tim Hardaway and Bob Cousy also in this run have both dropped 70. And Steph hit 23s in a game last season. Not even this season. That is crazy. Last season in more limited minutes hit 23s. I don't even know if he made the playoffs this year, honestly. It's funny because Bob Cousy also was the free throws made record, but that's from 1953. So yeah. Also, Gilbert, actually the most points scored in the season is literally just all this season forget wilt wilt is gone it's just guys this season and there goes most field goals made wilt is still second because these guys probably hit more free throws and threes but magic is first now even though he was seventh on this list but i won't get too deep into that stuff it probably broke a ton of records so yeah the conference finals james harden versus magic johnson on the west this is definitely penny hardaway against gilbert arenas these are definitely some of the titans of the league so far gilbert who had the best record against penny who's the reigning champion and then i mean magic johnson and james harden dog and also they're both pretty tall so the matchup works but it doesn't affect anything in simulation as you probably know by now this 2-2 on the right side 3-2 in favor of harden penny's gonna take uh what's his name out of here in five and james harden will beat magic in six he gets a uh, gilbert out of here so penny is gonna go back to the finals he outplayed gilbert in game five although his team did as well skylar mays matisse Thybul, yut nurkic and jabari walker just keep cooking and uh, making it a five man also means that they really can't sub these players out so that's also good yeah, I'll definitely uh, keep that going. Surprise, I don't really don't think I never did that. But uh, yeah, here's the finals. James Harden versus Penny Hardaway. Dame couldn't do it. You know, still ringless. But can James do it? One of the most legendary prime players ever was James Harden. But he would hit the same three between the legs, step back, and hit a three every possession of every game. I think he had like still to this day like the most dominant numbers. And I mean like literally like even the advanced stuff. They would like, you, you know, like usage rate, all that stuff. He was always just sky high compared to everybody ever. He literally put up wilt numbers at a 6'5 shooting guard with a beard and people would make fun of him being too too tubby or whatever going to clubs obi toppin just said an illegal screen you idiot he's got josh hart out here with quentin grimes who by the way just honestly a, a sin that 2k hasn't given quentin grimes his real life jump shot he has an awful jump shot in 2k penny gets it in the post they're gonna double team penny penny's gonna have to pass he gives it out and quentin grimes steals it he had a fantastic steal in the playoffs on jimmy butler and wow josh hart just went right around the portland defense which is actually matisse thibel who just really thrives at off ball defense so it's kind of crazy to see yeah yeah that was uh, you know it's 2k whatever skyler mays back up the other way he'll get a screen from nurkic and the pass is down to hard away again penny's gonna not waste time but then he kind of wastes time because he didn't take the shot he passed it down to nurkic nurkic against mitchell robinson he'll take the layup and robinson stops it mitchell robinson defensively 111 111 and harden just goes right around penny hardaway for the layup the pennies take a timeout two-point lead for new york this is obviously rigged also derrick rose who i said was one of the better non uh you know included in the video play i mean he is but the new york derrick rose hasn't and he's not even playing anymore because you know James is the only point guard in the rotation. Let's see if Penny can do some to, as a rebuttal here. He doesn't even get the ball. It goes to Walker. Walker to Nurkic. Nurkic back to Penny. Penny kind of crowded. And he, what the hell? Nah, Penny, man. Penny, hey, he does the invented shot. I don't know how the hell he invented that one shot, like that half spin step back that uh, Andrew Wiggins does pretty well these days. I think it's just called the Penny, but he just invented some other garbage that he just took right there with mad time on the shot clock. I guess he was confident. We'll get the ball top of the key. What's kind of said, he doesn't even do his thing where he he does a bunch of crossovers he never does it and oh he gets the switch pass down he passed it away but Grimes still gets it and the layup is good that should have been a turnover but all right a lot of weird possessions Tybull the pass in the Skylar Mays right that was his name pass down to Nurkic instead and he gets blocked by Robinson that's an insane audible they instead did not pass it to the post they gave it to Nurkic and they might have reaped the reaped the consequences I don't know because they're not reaping the benefits isn't reaping probably a good connotation word I don't know Josh Hart hit some free throws, buddy. He hits both. Portland has no timeouts left. Penny, can you check up a three? He'll probably dribble down and hand it off to Skylar Mays. Nope, he hands it to Jabari Walker. 4-3, way off. Rebound by Harden, and that is it. That'll conclude this game. Five-point win by the Knicks. Penny and James both had 57 points, but James had 10 assists and six rebounds. Well, I mean, Penny had a couple rebounds himself, and they both shot about the same from the field. Pretty similar. Yeah, yeah, actually, one shot, four more shots, and made, and made four more shots, and one to, you know, 
yeah, the opposite of that. Second game looks to be in favor of Penny Win Winslow. Justice Winslow, 12 assists career high. Remember when he used to play point guard for like 10 minutes? But yeah, Penny outscored James as well with 58 to his 53. You know, just a slight little 50 point outscoring, 50 point duel as James Harden in another duel is going to win this one by 10 points. They both had 42, um, but yeah, basketball. You know, it's about how you really go to the locker room and you talk to Jabari Walker and you tell him they actually dropped 10 points. That's how you win these games, you know, Penny? Ain't that right? I mean, hey, they went to the locker room and they still didn't, hey, they lost. They did lose. Penny had 56, Harden had 54, and he won again. He did have nine assists to Penny's eight, but really it was Mitchell Robinson with 27 and 19 to, well, Nurkic had 25 rebounds, but he shot one for 11. It's basketball, dog. They're, I mean, Obi Toppin shot four for 16, so yeah. James up 3-1 now after losing, didn't he lose game one, right? And Harden is going to run away with it. Harden with a near 20-point win, 43 for him, 43 for Penny, 56 and 10 for James, 30 for Quentin Grimes, 26 for Skylar Mays, 20 for Nurkic, and James Harden, your finals MVP, 52, 6, and 9 a game. So, so far, we've had, I mean, I think it's just Penny, Tim Hardaway, and, and James Harden. Those are your champions thus far into the next season. All the A-trains are out of here again. Giraffe lottery still doesn't matter. I might eventually, by like eight, year eight, maybe maybe just let some auto-generated guys in. I'm not going to let Victor in. That's a little crazy. I didn't even realize I left Kuminga in. That is another young player that usually becomes pretty good, so I should have known to take him out. And Oscar's a 96. We got a lot of 95s and 90 pluses. Almost everybody except for. I didn't even realize Melo was still on the roster. Hello, Melo. Mark Price is an 87 still. Lenny Wilkins, Archibald, and Dennis Johnson. Nate Archibald's probably the most surprising one. Most of these other guys probably wouldn't have been 8 and 90 pluses anyways. But Nate Archibald, I mean, that guy, I think I referenced this recently, but only guy to ever lead the league in points and assists in a season. I think he averaged 30 and 10 ish and somewhere in the early 70s. Gilbert wins MVP again. Sadiq Bay, six man of the year. Magic DPOI. Tony Parker, Magic 40, 49 points, by the way. Tony, most improved. Ron Lowe, coach of the year. Gilbert and Oscar, first team. Bob Cousy, Magic second. Chris Paul and Penny third. Magic and Kid keep leading the defensive first team. The Penny Hardaway team was far, well, not far and away the best. They had 63 wins. They were the best. And Derek Rose had the worst team again, which has been pretty common thus far. Him and John Stockton and, uh, wow, Gary Payton also down here. I remember he uh, made it to the second round, I think, last year. Mark Price also still 60 plus wins. I don't really know what crack they put in this Hawks team. And Gilbert also top three and so on and so forth. Harden was still top four. He won the finals last year. You already know that. Play-ins over with first round. Westbrook's out of here. Oscar's out of here. Isaiah, Kevin Johnson, Lillard, Tim Tim Hardaway, and Mark Price and Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway smoked out the first round. He was the first seed and lost to Bob Cousy. Memphis, Tim Hardaway lost to Trey Young. And also the other first seed, Mark Price lost to Chauncey Billup and Miami, which is, I believe, yes, no, yeah, Miami's Kevin Johnson. He lost to Magic Johnson, which isn't too surprising. Magic and, uh, and James Harden will match up yet again. Second round, Jerry West and the Logos have been eliminated. I believe they lost to Chauncey Billups, actually. He swept them. Chris Paul just lost. Magic lost. Magic Johnson and Bob Cousy lost. Gilbert Arenas is the one who got CP3 out of here. He dropped 61 in one of the game or the last game. And Trey Young also advances the conference finals. And then you got Harden versus uh, Chauncey Billups over here. 93 versus 92 overall. They also got Dwight Howard back at center over there because, you know, he's on the Wizards for like two seconds a few years ago. Gilbert versus Trey Young. Pretty similar, you know, archetypes, kind of. Yeah. Harden gets Billups out of here in six. He had 52 to Chauncey's 31. He's like a powerhouse out here. And 3-3, three, three, Trey Young versus Gilbert. Screw it, Wilson Cast. Why not? So far, Gilbert dominating this game, but Trey still holding on. Trey Young loses, though, and Gilbert Arenas will play against James Harden. Two, two true Hoopers, 61 from Gilbert. He had multiple 60-point games, and I bet James is a couple himself. Here you go. This finals matchup. They also have Michael Porter Jr., which is from probably from that trade from years ago. Oh, no, didn't the Warriors trade for MPJ? I don't know how he got to this, the Rockets team, honestly. All right, Harden just barely going to hold on to this one. I mean, not barely because they just, they were just tied like a minute ago is what I'm trying to say. They won by 13, though. Gilbert had 64 and Harden, the, the team is just teaming for real. Like, I don't, Tari Eason and Josh Christopher folded in comparison to uh, Josh Hart, Quentin Grimes, Obi Toppin. Although Harden did almost have double as many assists as Arenas, which, uh, wait, did he? Yeah, he did. He did. Okay. Second game is yet again going to go to Mr. James Harden. A 20 point win. He, he did out score uh what's his name gilbert just barely though and one by 20 gilbert will take game three he had 
88 points. He had double, double what Harden put up. That's what I've been waiting for. 88 points, a career high, obviously. 88 in a finals game. That is the most ever in playoff history. It would be the, the third most in regular season history, but instead it's he, every single top five in the playoffs is just him. And it's funny because these, once again, these are two guys that I added to the, I mean, Gilbert is at least a, technically a point guard, but yeah, Harden is too, but you know, they don't want to, they don't want to accept that, I guess. He was literally like my whole life when we talked about Harden, we're like, yeah, he's basically a point guard. People put him on the point guard list and everything. When you had Pat Bev next to him, I guess you could say the years when Chris Paul and Westbrook were next to him. I mean, Westbrook was more of a shooting guard with that team, I would say. Although he really could only cook with the ball in his hands. Both of them, honestly. Okay, I'm talking too much about basketball. And definitely early on when Jeremy Lin was still there. And Gilbert, he has 51 to Harden's 43. Can he actually take another game and tie it up 2-2? After that 88 point performance, we got to see some of this game. And uh, yeah, we get the, the, the Knicks court, the Knicks arena, because it's not called MSG in this game. There goes Harden, number 13. The pass into James. And Harden will pull up the three. He misses the rebound by uh, Tari Eason. Pass down and the deflection by Obi Toppin's head. It just hit him in the head in the side of the noggin. And Josh Hart will go all the way in the pass to Obi. What a what a transition by, oh, what, you know what I'm saying? From one into the other. Arenas back up the other way, guarded by Harden. We will not see either one of these bastards sub out of this game. He will not pass the ball over to Josh Christopher and set the screen by Usman or, or Eason and Gilbert, the layup. Take a one-point lead for himself. Two of the purest scorers probably in this entire simulation matching up against each other. James Harden, 115 to go. Harden to the basket. He gives it to Obi again. Tari Eason, man. You about 6'10", 6'9", but he stepped in front of him. Honestly, he's taller than Obi. And Gilbert blows right by the defense for the dunk. Not much defense when you guarded by James Harden. I know he's got it. He's always been better at post defense than anything. Uh, and Quentin Grimes now low. He will maybe force up a shot. No, back out to James. James will get double team pass over and one more to Grimes. Grimes does not want to shoot the three. He will get a screen for Mitchell Robinson. Go between the legs there. They don't know how to operate in this offset offense. Instead, James will come and get the ball again. Then pass it back to Grimes for a better shot. And that was a good play. A good little audible. A little handoff. Got open off the, off the catch. 40 seconds to go. The pass into Josh Christopher over to Michael Porter Jr. Porter Jr. to Garuba. Usman Garuba back out to Arenas. Arenas to the basket. He hands it down. And what the hell? Christopher did not shoot that. But Gilbert will green the mid-range anyways to take the lead. Pass into Harden. They take another timeout. Pass into Hart. Back to Harden. James not double teamed just yet. He'll get the screen from Mitchell. And what the hell was that layup? Does he have the Magic Johnson layup package on? Because that's the only person I've seen take a layup look this ugly. Oh my god, I think he does. I have to check after this game because that layup is hideous. Is that John Wall on the Knicks bench? And wait, was that Claxton too? I don't know how they got here. Garuba, the pass into Arenas. Arenas goes right by Harden, but he doesn't take the shot. He wants the last shot. And will he get it to potentially tie the series up 2-2 or go down 3-1? The screen by Garuba. Arenas will go to the right. Arenas back to Garuba for three. Gilbert, what are you doing? They can't even get a foul off and he blow. Hey, that is all on you. That is all on you. You had the open dunk and he doesn't even take the shot. I don't care if it's contested or what. You're going to let Usman Garuba decide your fate. 57, 11, and 9. That's what I enjoy because we watched in real time himself. So, you know what I'm saying? Even though you outscored him, you sold. I don't know. Clutch time. You had all the opportunity in the world. Good pass, but to a 70 overall teammate, he might be like at 79 by this point. He could still come back from down 3-1. Maybe LeBron will come and tell him to miss the free throws. Down by two is the Knicks with 119 to go. James Harden's team, technically the Hardens, you know, because the name changed. The pass in from Robinson to Harden, 118 to go. And James, the screen from Robinson on the right side. James will go right, pull up a fadeaway mid-range. The rebound by Mitchell and back out to Harden. He does not want it. And he might have just got a charge. He did. And that's also going to be free throw because it was a personal foul and not an offense. It, it was a personal foul and not a charge. I don't know how they really decide that, but yeah, he also has his fifth, which doesn't matter. And Garuba misses the first anyways. Well, he missed both. Garuba the second. He missed both free throws. Knicks get another easy possession. Basically just a reset 24, honestly. The spin to the basket and the step back. The hardened step back from like two feet out. Very uncharacteristic. Probably would have found a way to just throw a lob to Mitchell Robinson in real life or something. Gilbert Arenas goes around, pulls up, back out Christopher. Josh Christopher, the screen on the right side. He goes past it down to Arenas. Arenas in the post. Will he take the shot? And no, he gets double passes out back over to Eason. Eason back out to Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. really passed out a jump shot. We are in the worst timeline. The rebound by Obi Toppin. Tied game. The double teams are cooking Gilbert Arenas, but James Harden isn't even there goes the double team. And the pass over to Josh Hart. Wide open.
up for three and the double teams are helping him my god it's also just a bad double team when you leave a player wide open and don't help because they helped on porter jr and i believe that's why he passed i mean he passed for a reason he usually doesn't he usually wouldn't even pass if they did help down by three points and the knicks can win the series right here the pass into arenas gilbert goes to the basket down to easton in the block by Toppin. the put back by by gilbert and he misses an awful shot two shots actually and mitchell robinson just has to hit one but he doesn't he's also not a good free throw shooter one of the worst i've actually ever seen and he missed both rebound by east and they're gonna get one more shot at this we've both missed two free throws from our big men so you know game set match equal usman garuba the pass into michael porter jr who will fade away from three that's the mpj we know and love mitchell gets fouled again they might have another chance who knows robinson at the line the first one is off again he is shooting over hitting nothing he misses again seven seconds left to pass up to arenas arenas passes it off and josh christopher will take the shot man they sold bad and that is how the knicks will win the finals james harden wins his second straight despite gilbert putting up 88 in a game in this series a classic some dude just wearing a teal adidas shirt a real lame outfit for a all red arena maybe he was a knicks fan and wanted to stay neutral and not get fought by a rockets fan or something and james harden obviously the finals mvp 61 from gilbert and 40 and 14 from james his team vast outperformed his tari eason shot two for 15 quentin grimes and out of a good game but aside from that just yeah gilbert shot 20 more shots though i will say that i will you know what i'm saying hey his team might have been settling but harden let his team cook a little bit more that is part of this you are all point guards you have to you know be a point guard 43 and 15 from from harden in the finals i did want to check which this is obviously going to be gilbert the league leader in points it is gilbert 57 per game on this list specifically considering that i removed the last three guys on the list for uh for him harden and west he would be the worst out of everybody on the list technically but now has a finals appearance and i believe two mvps i think i'm gonna do one more year with 40 overall draft class and then i might start doing some auto generated for the hell of it or i might just be lying i might lay it a little bit longer but now when you look at the past champions aside from the clint capella finals mvp you got tim hardaway penny hardaway james harden twice that is in four out of the six years that i'm aiming for six more years i mean 10 years total and i won't lie last season i did forget to check this at the beginning of the year like all the rotations you know make sure everyone's still getting 48 and there was like i think two teams but I doubt it affected anything that didn't, you know, that had fired their coach. That's the thing is that even if I set staff management to auto or not auto, they still get new coaches in the off season. So yeah, you can't turn off coach contracts or whatever, but it looks like every team still stuck with their coach. So good for you, I guess. James Harden wins an MVP this year. He's starting to take over. Paul Reed wins rookie deer, averaging absolutely nothing. Oh no, this is six man of the year, right? Cause there is no really six men playing. Did he actually play though? Or did they just hand this to him? They probably just handed it to him. Yeah, no, he didn't actually play. Magic dpoy john stockton wins most improved he actually averaged 46 this season oh was he he was probably one of the, the guy that yeah didn't actually play all 48 but hey this is up from his you know two year ago average sheldon castro most uh or that's coach of the year which i believe is the knicks coach i had saw bob Cousy and james first team nash and arena second team lord and donch's third team kid and magic defensive and bob Cousy and oscar defensive second in the playoffs screw it let's just get all the way to the round actually matter of fact real quick as i saw steph curry got eliminated in the playing game we still see nothing from him magic oscar robertson who by the way probably is a 90 overall by now 99 i mean oh no okay oscar stopped at 97 isaiah thomas is now technically the best player yeah we've seen nothing from him none of these three bob Cousy, chris paul not much magic johnson not much at all derrick rose not even a smidgen of any any sort of remnants of him being in the simulation and neither luka Doncic either which is kind of crazy to say league leaders this season steve nash averaged 60 points per game once again last person i would expect damian Lillard averaged 57 and then harden 52 yeah like in the i just went to his recent games and in the last week of the season nash dropped 92 and 89 this is just steph curry you know the original version he dropped 79 74 twice 83 I'm trying to see if he ever dropped 100 it's also like a point in the season where i feel like he started oh nope first week he dropped 92 and 81 as well yeah he had the most points in a season this season but he did not break dame dame's 90 
96 has not been broken and he, matter of fact he dropped 94 this season which also is higher than steve nash's 292 point performances you know some like koozie's out of here and lenny's out of here in the first or in the playing game and in the first round you got zeke isaiah thomas lillard magic johnson chauncey billups stockton trey young rose and bing dave bing so philadelphia which is damian lillard lost to luka Doncic in the first round luka had 46 16 and 10 to dame's 44 and 11 in the last game but all in all it was a five point win or a five game win by luka's nets team detroit billups upset westbrook technically even though westbrook had double as many points as him and more assists and everything else was clear you know no upsets there timothy hardaway is out of here luka Doncic is out of here to the knicks which is james harden another nice matchup mark price is out of here he made it back to the second round and penny hardaway is out of here we got a nice uh conference finals james harden versus russell wait oh no oh, okay that that's, that's good to see that russell because i was like yo 64 and 16 and he lost with double as many points and all but okay yeah so he won and then he beat uh he beat what's his name uh mark price in the second round so we got harden versus westbrook you know the former teammates tw multiple times and then nash versus arenas this is a scoring master class right here as of right now they are well three top two of the top three in scoring in this playoff with nash taking the edge by three points i don't even know how i'll see if it goes to a close game because it would be a classic but uh james harden's about a sweep westbrook it's looking like yeah 4-1 by harden and 3-3 a 3-1 lead could be blown here by steve nash which i believe he did do in his career once maybe i'm tweaking i don't know and he did it he blew a 3-1 lead gilbert arenas versus james harden a classic rematch first game of the series and it is a, a shootout right now it is they are cooking on both ends of the basketball floor well no not both ends for the team but both the teams are cooking gilbert and harden both got just about 50 147 to go the knicks up by two pretty funny how this is turning to gilbert honestly i i could have expected gilbert cooking in 2k but i did not think harden was going to be here every year gilbert the first free throw was good to potentially tie up the game he hits both you know what else i'm definitely gonna make another video on soon 2k14 i'm definitely going back on that i just love that game i uh you know i i would also oh my god way off by harden what encouraged me too was because i just randomly posted another video with like me playing there on like another build after i posted another. you know like i posted like two videos on 2k14 this year is what i'm trying to say oh what a miss by gilbert and yeah i'm gonna make it a third and behind the back by quentin grimes he'll take it to the basket himself he's going nowhere pass over to james harden oh the flash he passed to mitchell robinson and he misses the layup and we know he can hit free throws garuba with his seventh foul breaking the rules and mitchell robinson the first one is way off slightly early zero percent is insane how bad does your free throw have to be he actually might be the worst free throw shooter in the world what is his free throw thing is he's an 84 overall now he's got him better than what he is in real life but his free throw is still a 45 honestly it might be a 45 in real life too and jo josh christopher a good pull-up shot to take a two-point lead not bad we've seen josh hart for the knicks hit a game winner a few games ago and james harden has these on the left side he i mean that, that, you know it's his ball dominant hand he'll get the screen and go right from ob and he passes it away he sold like how gilbert did that when you're giving it to garuba he tried to pass it ob for no reason and gilbert might have just sold right there josh christopher waiting for someone to maybe pass to or to take another shot josh christopher a four point lead now for the rockets respectable jumpers four point deficit with 38 seconds to go and the pass into josh hart hand back to hart back to ob over to harden fading away from three the rebound by robinson back out to harden he'll get the screen on the left side and he will pass it down to robinson who will not get fouled but will hit that insane looking layup probably should have made it regardless but the layup just looked dumber than it should have the pass into josh christopher he'll get fouled probably better than fouling uh than fouling gilbert christopher the first free throw is green and the second free throw is also good one last time off for new york if they miss this shot i am out of here so fast the pass into quentin grimes and harden going nowhere double team they'll pass it to mitchell robinson who was not shooting and said would defer back to harden at three-point line he'll miss and probably would it should have just taken the dunk honestly buddy that game's over Four point win by the Rockets. 51 by Arenas. 52 by Harden. Gilbert is going to win another game, it looks like. Oh, yep. He's got it just barely. Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr. with 39. Has he earned back? He has not earned back his shot tendency. He is just chucking even, even through that. He has earned back his shot attributes, though. Wow, that is an insane game. We have seen Harden's team help him out a lot in multiple occasions, though. So good for Gilbert. He's learning to defer a little bit more. And it's about to lead him to maybe up 3 0. Yep. He, wow, he goes on a 
a crazy run. Gilbert triple double, whole team in double figures. Knicks almost almost there, but not really. Harden made one less shot than Arenas on a nine more attempts. Although he did shoot a lot less free throws, but either way, which is rare for James. Gilbert so far up 3-0. And the Rockets are going to sweep the two-time defending NBA champion. Harden had 60 trying to win this one, but had 16 more shots than Gilbert and more free throws, 22 free throws and 39 field goal attempts. And Gilbert having less from both of those avenues and scoring nine less points and winning by 14. Let his team take a couple more shots. You know what I'm saying? Being a better point guard, Gilbert finals MVP 46, 9, and 11 with four steals in this run. And he, you know, he, he was him and Harden were third and fourth in a playoff scoring per game. The overall is looking the same all around. I think the 97 is going to be the cap out for most of these guys. Steve Nash wins most viable player with 62 points per game. Paul Reed, another honorary six man. Magic Johnson, DPOY, Dayron Sharp, most improved, and Sheldon Castro, coach of the year. That's Harden's coach yet again. Nash and Kuzi, first team. G Gilbert and Harden, the, the duo, the di not the duo, the dynasty, the, um, the rivalry, I guess, but two dynasties separated. And Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook, all NBA third team. The defensive team's basically been the same almost every year, I feel like, right? Yeah, Jason and Magic always, but they don't win anything. And this season, was it finally broken ever? Yep, Steve Nash dropped 103 points. He never beat his 92 except for that one time, but a pretty impactful one time. It was also in the last. That's kind of fire if that was in the last game. Hold on, let me see. Go to recent games real quick. The last game of the season, he dropped 103. He's trying to show the league. Ayo, he hit 23 threes, 14 free throws, 33 field goal attempts. I would never expect Steve Nash probably be on my bottom five who I would expect to break this record. Before you like, oh, you, you hate no Steve. No, 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 buddy. He's not a scorer. He won MVP averaging, what, 15, 16? He could hit, he could hit a shot. We know that, but not a scorer. And uh, another thing I want to check, if, if he broke that record, is that the three-point record as well? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. He actually stocked and also set it this year. And Steph still has the record in the playoffs from earlier on. But yeah, Nash's points per game is almost 10 more than anybody else. Like, it's pretty, pretty far above, even though everybody else averages still 50. So it won't change too much if he loses or whatever. The bing bong is out of here. The logo is the, the Isaiah Tom. Thomas's, the Derrick Rose's first round. You got Tim Hardaway out of here. Clyde Frazier's out of here. Magic Johnson's out of here. Luka Doncic is out of here. Damian Lillard is out of here. Steve Nash is out of here. The Lakers and Kidd is out of here. And CP3. The Denver Nash is out of here to John Stockton. Definitely wasn't outscoring Steve. Or at least I don't think he was, but he won. And Boston, which is Magic Johnson, was upset by, I believe that's Chauncey Billups. So that is, and this time, yes, Chauncey actually did win the series. Russell so Westbrook was able to defeat Damian Lillard. That was also an upset. Dame didn't even lead his team in points. Dame sold crazy. Seven for 19 shooting. That is not enough shots when you're the, you know, Russell said, yeah, no, give me the ball. 46 shots, 66 points, 15 assists. Second round. Goodbye to Chauncey Billups, John Stockton, Russell Westbrook, and Penny Hardaway. And we have back to Mark Price in the conference finals against James Harden. And Gilbert Arenas is back again against Bob Cousy. That would be a very odd final him versus James Harden potentially or him versus Mark Price you never know Gilbert the reigning champion up 3-1 and now 3-2 2-3 actually for the uh th oh my god it's just game seven in both well James Harden is getting cooked by Bob Kuz no by Mark Price Mark Price is going back this has been a very normally weird simulation it's it's pretty normal that this happens yeah, Mark Price is going to I think his third finals or something and the Rockets are about to not let the 3-1 comeback happen I think yeah Gilbert Arenas is going Going to the finals against Mark Price. Will he make quick work of him like how he did with Harden, even though Harden beat him like once or twice? Nope. Mark Price is going to take game one. Mark Price had 32 and 21 and was facilitating to his team. Hawks take another game. Arenas had 54, Price 34 and 7. This Hawks team is crazy, dog. They haven't been here in a while, but Mark Price, you know, he's still been trusting and believing him or whatever. And the reigning champion give himself a little 2-1 instead of a 3-0. Let's see. Capello the pass into Bogdan. Hey, he will look off Mark Price, maybe. Yep, get the screen from John Collins. And Bogdan goes to the basket. We'll pass it down to Collins, and he gets ripped. Miles Bridges on the Rockets. Okay, and Josh Christopher will dunk it down on the other end. To cut it down or take a two-point lead. And Bogdan dribbling the basketball. He will get another screen from John Collins. I don't know what. Oh, my God. John Collins and one. Why do they ice Mark Price out the game? I, he really don't like that. You know, like, hey, he's not a leader. I mean, he's a leader, but not a scoring leader. I mean, he is that too, but barely kind of. Who 
Usman Garou passes into Gilbert down by one. 21 seconds ago, Gilbert goes right at the basket into the post. Gilbert post up all the, over the other shoulder. It is good. 14 seconds ago, he takes the lead. The price take a timeout. The price is not right. My God, I'm stupid. And Bogdan yet again will get the basketball. Bogdan with 11 seconds to go. Maybe he's even a, he might actually be a better overall than Mark Price. That's the crazy part about this. 83. No, he's not. But I mean, they're close enough. Bogdan Bogdanovich, the screen on the right side from John Collins. He pulls from, oh my God, pulled from all the way in Jupiter. 41 and 16 from Price, although we didn't see him take a shot. And he had 10, 11 less shots than Gilbert, but almost had the same amount of points, more assists. A win by Gilbert's team far and away. 42, 14, and 15 from him. And it is 2 2. A win by Mark Price. Easy win. Bogdanovich had almost 40. And another win for the Rockets. Nine point win. Gilbert, 47 and 15. They have forced game seven. Gilbert trying to get his own back to back, like how Harden did. Mark Price trying to get his second, like how Harden did. And Mark Price is running away with it. The Hawks are going to win. Gilbert had 52. Mark Price had 42 and 18. Almost 10 more assists. And Josh Christopher was also 0 for 11. So there's that as well. Mark Price, 35 and 17 a game to win finals MVP. You know, I will let the draft classes go through. Give them the auto generated. Throw a couple trash scrubs in there. Luka Doncic wins his first MVP over there in Brooklyn. Magic DPOY again. Taylor Jenkins, coach of the year. We had no most improved. Luka and Bob Cousy first team. Steve Nash and Dame second. And Chris Paul and Westbrook again on the third. Dang, Dyson Daniels took the all defensive second team spot from literally every single one of the point guards. That is crazy. And I definitely forgot to remove him because I knew he becomes good in this. Steve Nash eliminating the playing game, which is crazy. Clyde Frazier as well. Cousy, Bob Cousy's also out of here and Lenny Wilkins. Those are two all top two all NBA teams and Cousy and Nash eliminating the playing game. And in the regular season, Nash averaged 61, you know, a slight step down from last year. How will he recover? All right, Westbrook, Rose, Chef Curry. All right, I'm not, I'm done. I right, look, let's get to the conference finals. Who's got some dog? The Knicks, we got James Harden versus Luca. One of those two will be going to the finals, either Luca for the first time or James for the 85th. And Jason Kidd, the, uh, you know, the guy who's won all these DPO old defensive player first team teams defensive first team sorry i can't speak had a good couple of upsets in this playoff so far let's see 3-1 in favor of Luka and Luka's going to the finals against Gilbert Arenas again still nothing at all from Steph Curry or Magic Johnson and once again height doesn't matter on 2k it doesn't change anything when we simulate like this unless i jump into a game which hell no i'm not jumping to the games because they've only been playing the regular season the play-in 46 from luca 47 from gilbert but luca had the triple double and he won luca's also i believe about to win the second game yes he does gilbert at 45 luca had 71 12 point win from the rockets 54 from gilbert 10 more points than luca so you know pretty much fits the bill oh wow i did not realize they went to ot i'm stupid hey two point game 108 to go Luka Doncic can you take this 3-1 lead or no I'm pretty sure he's up 2-1 Luka number 77 you never have to worry about anybody taking that number and he almost scored 70 points in, or he almost scored 77 points in that last game or two games ago 55 seconds ago Luka goes right he will pass and get deflected but the like, recovery by Cam Thomas over to Royce O'Neal Royce O'Neal's the basket back out to Doncic for three and that is good 11% covered green in on the left side from Miles Bridges and John Josh Christopher will pass to Miles for the layup. Hey man, him and Gilbert, they relate. They get the same attention. Passing Billy Hurd and Gomez passing to Luca, And Luca goes into the post. He goes back out of it. Goes right to the basket around Gilbert. Got a, you know, solid height advantage. And he will hit the layup. Take a one-point lead. And oh, Gilbert with the flash. He passed down to uh, Usman Garuba to take the lead right back. Billy Hurd and Gomez, the pass into... It is into Camp Thomas. Thomas will hand it to Luca. Luca. Luca goes left and he gets the length of the basket. He does not take it. Eight seconds. Luca forcing the last shot. He's going to pass it to the corner. Royce O'Neal wide open and he will miss the shot. And Luca's team will fail to go up 3 1 just off of that right there. Usman Garuba daps him up and Miles Bridges led the Rockets in scoring. Luca had 73, 70 again and lost. The Rockets will take another one after Luca did not capitalize. Luca had 70 for the third time in the series, which, by the way, is the first 
first time he has ever scored 70 maybe in his career probably not probably not you know he dropped actually his jersey number during the season and chris paul dropped 95 in a game the thought of chris paul six foot self dropping 95 just seems wild no easy buckets just straight tough buckets and the rockets are gonna hold on to this last game a 116 109 win gilbert arenas i believe just won his third ring oh no no his second ring gilbert arenas finals mvp 46 11 and 11 and here's the finals recap again two rings from gilbert two rings from harden and they have played each other twice splitting the series thus far hey who will win i don't know who the hell the first overall pick is stephen curry jr that's nice that's great yeah hall of fame ceiling screw it. why not mess up the league for the last uh how many more years only three more years who will win the the odds to potentially draft this guy it could be the warriors it's the kevin johnson heat and the dennis johnson bulls and the uh parkers the tony parkers the Kyrie's haven't done anything and the dude mac temple went first overall perry gilmore and Se stephen curry jr went to uh tony parker's team they'll have some new players to play with a league league wide james harden steals an mvp back mac temple rookie of the year that is true most of these guys have like a 30 to 50 shot tendency yeah this guy doesn't he got a 74 an astounding 74 and wins rookie of the year well i mean rookie of the year to be fair it's not a hard award to win you know i think he's also the only rookie to play according to those stats right there or maybe uh maybe it's because he's a big man i don't know nick stauskas wins most improved player that is insane i used to be a fan um yeah there you go first team harden and westbrook second team donches and koozie third team nash and arenas magic johnson we've seen nothing from you i don't even know where steph curry is anymore league leaders nash averaged 61 yet again and there's a lot of high 50s scores mid to high 50s the lowest scoring average out of all of these guys is actually still oh it's kevin johnson now who got outscored by his new rookie temple that is definitely a development cp3 out of here stockton magic i, I think i just saw oh steph curry got him in the first round lillard kid parker tyree made it in the first round price is out of here trey young is out of here westbrook is out of here and tim hardaway we've got a harden versus luca rematch again and penny versus gilbert do we've seen all of these guys in the finals i think right luca's out of here harden's back and gilbert is back yet again the dominant force at this point just get me to the, the tough games harden wins by 11 he had 64 second game harden wins again by 30 he had 68 third game did i say second game or third game last time? i don't know i feel like i said a third game for the second game harden had 52 and 16 and wins again and the fourth game gilbert finally takes one fifth game harden wins 59 points and 12 assists in season number eight i believe of the simulation james harden has now won three finals mvps he's currently the king of point guards technically a shooting guard lucas taller than him who cares once again doesn't matter by ryan archie diacono i know all these guys just got released from their teams for the rookies literally this season for the first time and by the way there's rookies again this year nate oscar dante mayer 84 overall the number one overall pick is ceiling as a kimolage one yeah buddy maybe you'll get you know a quarter of the way there i was actually thinking about doing something pretty interesting for these last two years you know overalls are pretty equal in general everything has been pretty equal but just to you know give the league a little bit of a reset all right so this we're gonna do right lower everybody's shot tendency down to zero then i'm gonna individually put up the shot tendency for well the, the, our point guards these guys so just go player by player and put them all back up to 99 i know it's gonna take a second but screw it i just wanted to do this and yeah they could all have 99 we ball they, they were all 89 plus anyways i think i saw wow the um the temple dude is already because i was just able to go through and just you know what i'm saying whatever click the button kevin johnson had to have went down in overall right no way he capped out at 80 83 i don't know but he's still in 83 you think like in another 150 years they'll be talking talking about how our current day players are plumbers there's a good chance you know uh, I, i've saw a percentage of us are still alive by then that's another thing i'd be thinking about you know they're like the lifespan of a human is like 90 or not 90 like high 70 years old somewhere in the 70s i'm like yo that's crazy i get to live till i'm 70 but then i'm like wait i have like 50 years until i even get to that point like what if it expands you know what i'm saying by that point i don't know 
that's just like a random okay yeah maybe i'm thinking too much i'm pretty sure nate archibald which is another crazy one is the only other person under 90 except for kevin johnson not really sure why that's the case but it is what it is they all that it's fixed now oh that's nice gilbert arenas 74 points per game magic 65 to win dpoy yeah i forgot that uh giving everybody else zero shot tendency would also make the good players even better luca and gilbert made the first team bob Cousy and kid the second penny and james the third magic and kid Cousy and dyson daniels again and this is about to be wild stats 76 per game for penny we had over uh yeah 15 14 of the players averaging 70 now and every single guy except for shoot i don't even know did i forget a per oh my oh, oh my i thought i forgot tim hardaway that's his son i genuinely don't know did one of them retire or something because I, I swear i only see who am i missing because i'm only seeing 29 players someone has to be missing but i don't know who it is no clue someone must have got benched which is kind of crazy to say i'll uh i'll check the rotations real quick maybe i'm the one tweaking because i swear i see at least one player averaging 50 on every single team but i only counted out 29 on the left side when i go here so maybe it's just me maybe it's me now it's time to check league history nba records oh not that yeah that gilbert dropped 127 points in a game this season also multiple people broke 100 but 127 you are a crackhead those are my career numbers um 25 threes made is the record 37 free throws the assist was not broken because they don't pass but they got pretty close and a lot of other records are about to be broken in this playoffs for sure first round lenny penny trey westbrook billups Matt Magic, Timothy, and Chef Curry are all out of here. And in the second round, Price, Cozy, Kid, and James Harden are out of here. Harden will not win his fourth ring. Luka is going to be playing Dame. And John Stockton is here for the first time against Gilbert Arenas. I did give John Stockton, obviously, a, probably a better shot tendency than he normally has. It probably went up to like somewhere in the high 70s to low 80s through the years. But I gave everybody a 99 to start this season. You know, let's see them uh, cook. And he is cooking Gilbert Arenas so far. But wait, uh, there it is john stockton who's averaging 71 points per game will play against damian Lillard in the finals two ringless bastards game one will go to just barely john no a uh, good win over the stocktons i was reading the uh the, the social media and i thought it said good win for the stocktons but no Lillard 77 points to stockton 66 and a win it is very interesting to see john stockton being the one reaping from the benefits of his teammates not shooting anymore as he will win the next game by 17 stockton 73 and 10 he's probably just getting him ready right around the basket for a jumper or well, not a jumper a layup 68 for stockton to Lillard's 55 he takes a 2-1 lead we've lost it we've already lost it though according to this the two best point guards of all time are gilbert arenas and james hard and maybe they are who knows a win by the sixers um a little drop 73 to stockton's 52 it's two to two i feel like every series has been relatively close almost everyone has been a couple sweeps and stockton is gonna steal another win by five points he had 82 and is a two-point lead for johnny stockton oh god the arena looks so weird like the crowd and everything sorry i gotta get rid of my control of this lillard down by two points his back's against the wall i'm pretty sure and he's getting clamped up by stockton and montrez how wide open for the dunk surprising that he even took a shot honestly with how the tendencies are i think this is uh this is not carson this isn't carson wallace because i didn't import the draft class right this is just another wallace and stockton for three green automatic he does always have one of the better jumpers in 2k i'm actually surprised they didn't like change it this year they changed a lot of jumpers down by three mr damien Lillard. how will you respond zero the pass into shoot damien Lillard in the corner dame to the basket he gets double teamed another dunk by montrez harrell i mean they'll take that i guess wallace back up the other way john stockton playing off the ball they'll set a screen for him both players on the right side but they always give it to the worst player and troy brown will brick the hell out of a three 25 seconds ago but they turned the ball over immediately he just threw it off the player and they're gonna send mo bamba to the line mo bamba the free throw is good um to replay what the hell just happened it wasn't too crazy but you probably didn't see it montrez gets the rebound immediately goes to throw the pass and he goes to throw it up to who is that i'm assuming yeah tobias harris and just throws it off of mo bamba and then a uh, wallace gets it gives it to mo bamba for some reason but screw it it seems working out will it fully yep three point lead by the lakers and john stockton is t uh, 20 seconds away from winning his first ring they've been doubling the hell out of lillard will they do it again dame goes up for the basketball and he gets it he goes he goes left stockton all over him he gets double teamed pass down to pj tucker in the steal by the lakers troy brown will head to the line one free throw will end it and the first one is green that is it 
done game over set match two point win by the lakers 60 points from lillard and john stockton 68 to los angeles stockton's to be exact he is obviously going to win finals mvp with 68 points nine assists four rebounds 47 from the field 41 from three udonis retired and this will be the last season i'm pretty sure actually i could always just check the years pro i don't know why i don't just do that yeah stockton's in his ninth year but he's about to be in his 10th so is everybody else jesus the second overall pick in this draft was a 69 overall player how good good was this player to go 69 or to go a uh, second overall player what where are you 69 overall eddie johnson all nba that is an anthony bennett pick right there hello cameron Payne. luca wins another mvp harry gilmore rookie of the year wow magic johnson can you please make a run buddy this is looking terrible hello justice wins low wadala and dante mayer yeah that guy's a god uh warriors are you in the playoffs nope still not even through all that maybe they'll make it as the uh, play no uh all right bet simulate matter of fact real quick last season 70 six points per game by steph and he is about to get swept by the blazers trey's out of here clyde price rose chef curry's cool why did i name it chef it's so annoying to say that timothy's and then nash is out of here stockton billups and harden stockton no more rings for you we got hard or we know we got lillard against Doncic yet again and we got yet again gilbert against penny so even after i reset the tendencies it shows that the stuff really wasn't a fluke these guys are actually the most dominant guys they are still it's still the same people nothing has change every that my, my that is that actually is pretty satisfying my my form of trying to make this even was actually pretty even and in the conference finals gilbert arenas gets smoked by penny and lillard gets smoked we're gonna have penny try and either i believe i believe harden or no no my bad i keep thinking harden's on the nets because he's on the knicks and new york still whatever so harden is gonna far and away have the most rings regardless penny could get his second and we'll luca lost the one time he made it so he can get his first if he wants first game is going straight to to penny hardaway a big oh my god he dropped 106 points in a final game he shot 66 times and made 43 of the attempts oh man you got a roof 94 points outscores luca by 13 which he also had 81 but they basically averaged that at this point i'm also going to check the uh, records to see if anybody scored even more than what gilbert did last year they lose and much more tame scoring game penny had half of what he had that one game basically real quick check this uh nba records gilbert no his 127 now that might never be broken that right there how many like field goals did he make in that game he made a shoot i don't even know probably threes record no he free throws gilbert anywhere my god he didn't set any records for any field goals three pointers or free throws and he scored 127 points that season oh and the playoff scoring record is now 112 by chauncey billups penny's game i think that we just saw was second most ever and luca's not too shabby he also had that exact same point total recently last year penny trying to go up three one but he will not luca wins and he had 66 to penny 62 another win by mr hardaway 79 points so over time a major props to winslow recorded a triple double shut the hell up your star player had 70 i mean he averages that it's like the coach's son with the minutes and the shot opportunities they're getting and penny hardaway is going to win the last ring luca leaves ringless which is honestly fine he barely made the list anyways penny 79 points in the final game he averaged 79 in the final finals and at the end of it all here is how the finals went out tim hardaway penny hardaway two james hardens a gilbert arenas mark price gilbert harden stockton and hardaway most of the guys that i just named at least they went to the finals multiple times a lot of them and then out of guys that uh lillard never won one and he went to two finals kind of sad luca also never won one and he went to two finals and i think everybody else at at the very least won one everybody that went i'm pretty sure i don't know you can correct me if i'm wrong i'm looking right at it that is 10 championships down and on top of that if we go to uh, i think the best representation of this is just going over to the all players westbrook who is actually the highest overall at 98 never won anything isaiah never did luca never did cozy never did chris paul never did magic johnson never did derrick rose oscar robertson can't say Harden, can't say arenas uh kid kid made it to the conference finals at least lillard at least had two attempts curry never even made it to the conference finals dave bing never did jerry west never did trey young i think 
think, made it to the conference finals once. Penny Hardaway, multiple time champion. Tony Parker, pure lottery team type of guy. John Stockton ended up winning a ring. Steve Nash averaged a ton of points and won nothing. Kyrie Irving, literally never saw him in the playoffs once. Chauncey Billups was a pretty consistent playoff knockout like the Raptors or something like that. Walt Frazier, Clyde, never saw you consistently in the lottery. Gary Payton used to be there early on, then dipped off. Lenny Wilkins, maybe saw his name a few times, don't remember. Tim Hardaway, Dennis Johnson, Stephen Curry Jr. is now better than Mark Price, who is a champion multiple times, right? I'm just making sure it was oh no, one time champion. And then Dante Mayer and all of these guys are better than Nate Archibald, who never won a godforsaken thing. And then all the way down here should be another top 30 point guard guy, Kevin Johnson. There you go. That's the last one. He didn't win a, a lick of nothing. He was worse than a uh, Bogdan, who we saw take a lot of shots jumping into games. At least I think so. Oh, well, one last thing, actually. With how many points these guys are scoring, are they already like top of like these lists? Well, I mean, Penny had the most points in a... Oh, well, they all did. Yeah, they all basically had the most points in the total season these past two years. All the way. Go back to that real quick. Did Penny beat out... Yeah, he beat out Curry by oh, 11 points for the best. And Steve Nash now has the most points in NBA history, which is crazy because this is i made him a rookie matter of fact they have they just have the whole top i haven't seen a, a player yet there goes kareem did i see lebron no this is this is before lebron took the record so yeah the top 19 is entirely guys from the simulation and this is the crazy thing i've only simulated 10 years not even half of their some of their careers have been done that is wild but that just shows in itself hey what if i went another 10 years um that'll that's the simulation you think in your mind because buddy i'm not coming back to this we're just gonna watch james harden win another 10 rings but i think we got a, a good genuine a grasp of what what this was shout out to skylar mays it's been real it's been fun and it been real fun also lastly shout out to the mvp awards i don't know i just felt like doing that and shoe in six man of the year paul reed who wasn't playing any minutes and dpoi magic who won nothing and back-to-back -back most approved player keaton wallace how is this possible and kevin johnson who had a team after named after him to not even be the best player on it one more time it's been real it's been fun but ain't real fun don't subscribe to this channel you just sat here and watched me record this video for the past uh well i've been recording for four hours and 20 minutes why would you ever subscribe to this channel it's not like you just watched this whole video or anything and uh yeah i'm gonna get the hell up and out of here Cut.